So this is my first pass at an idea for a group project in human growth and development. <clears throat> and the first clue to this project would be this. So this story follows a young lady, uh, age 39, female, uh, Caucasian, born in Albuquerque, New Mexico, now living in New York City. Uh, she professionally is a psychoanalyst. She received her PhD from Brandeis University, the name of our main character is Holly White. Um, this story will follow um, Holly in the wake so many years later of uh, the aftermath of being uh, the daughter of the famous Walter White, uh, a high school chemist turned meth lab extraordinaire, and what it's been like to live in the years uh, as uh, a meth drug pin, kingpin. So, the story starts uh, with an open scene of uh, Holly White being interviewed by someone from the New York Times. And in the interview, the interviewee or interviewer asks Holly what it's like to be um, in the shadow of her father, Walter White. And he also pointed out um, a deeper stab for Holly in that he made an analogy um, that Walter White and Freud were uh, very similar in the fact that Holly, uh, particularly in her field of expertise with psychoanalysts, um, seems to always be in, in the shadow of a father. No longer Walter White, but Sigmund Freud. The name of this piece is Breaking Dad. After the interview is finished, Holly leaves to attend her own appointment uh, with her own uh, analyst. And it's in this appointment that uh, Holly receives some disturbing news. Uh, uh, her analyst informs her that uh, she, in fact, has a rare uh, mental health disease that's very highly problematic, um, known as a disorganized attachment style. And uh, additionally, um, probably the blow that probably stung a bit is that uh, not only would this treatment uh, to be a long, extensive treatment that would take a lot of time. Um, it's a very expensive process, and her insurance provider will not cover the treatment. So she leaves the office, certainly uh, frustrated with this news, and comes uh, decides to go drink away her pain. And it's at uh, her local pub uh, that she... Uh, runs into an old uh, schoolmate. Her name was Jenny Pinkman. From there, uh, the two uh, have a long discussion which results with a plan to design a, a new powerful drug um, that can hit the streets that will make not only Walter White seem like uh, afterthought in the pharmaceutical world, but also it's a stab at Sigma Freud to show that the power of women in the psychology world will have a history, a lineage that will be remembered forever, way more than 
Father Freud. So her, Holly, and her friend Jenny Pinkman decide to start a process on this new drug that she, through her chemical expertise with her father, um, and that's passed genetically, realizing that Walter died when she was about two years old, uh, they decide to come up with pink ice. Pink for girls. See what I did there? Instead of blue ice. As a laugh in the face of the psychoanalytic world and psychology world at large. As the process develops and her uh, uh, desire for success and fame takes over, she assumes her Sith Lord name, La Chodoro, named after her idol, Nancy Chodoro. <laughs>